starting to get it under control, but there's still active fire. A building in the heart of downtown Springfield caught fire this afternoon. Crews have spent hours trying to keep it from spreading. Good evening. I'm Brennan Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. You can see the smoke across the city. One entire block of businesses has been shut down. Now, the fire started on Adams Street, just half a block away from the old state capitol. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Henke is live on that street. Cole, what is the very latest? Well, I just spoke with Springfield Fire Chief Ed Canny minutes ago, and he told me as of right now, this fire is under control. Crews are cleaning up the fire hoses now, but there will have there will be fire trucks on scene pretty much throughout the night. They're monitoring for hot spots in this fire to make sure that they don't reignite and they have to start this fight all over again. Now this fight or this fire could have been much worse. All of the buildings on this block are attached and the fire started right in the center of this block. So the focus was really on keeping it from spreading. When I showed up, you could see smoke billowing out of the top of the roof and flames actually shooting out as well but the Springfield Fire Department kept it largely contained. The fire did not spread any uh, down further to the west, but it did spread a little bit down to the east before the department was able to get it all the way under control. As for the building the fire started in, they, it saw extensive damage. The roof caved in while firefighters continued to try and suppress the fire, and eventually the water that was pouring in from the top could be seen flowing out the front door. So we're not sending any firefighters into that building uh, just due to safety reasons. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, when the fire came in, everybody was able to get out safely. Now, these are there are several popular businesses on this block, and this fire actually started right as the Wednesday farmer's market was wrapping up. But Fire Chief Ed Candy said they were able to get everyone safely evacuated from all of the businesses and all of the neighboring bu buildings as well. It will be a while before other business owners are able to really assess the damage to their buildings. Investigators are on the scene now, and like I said, Fire Chief Candy says they're expecting to be here throughout the night, really making sure that this fire doesn't get started again. Coming up tonight at 6, we're going to tell you about how some of the other businesses on this block really banded together, especially one of the businesses that caught on fire. It's called the Cat's Cradle Cafe. They actually had a nice little group of cats living in the building and it took some unique efforts to make sure that they were evacuated safely as well. We're going to have more on that tonight as well. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hanke, WCI3, your local news leader. Cole, thank you so much for that reporting. And like he said, we will continue our live coverage from downtown Springfield coming up in the 6. This is a view from our weather camera. You can see the huge hook and ladders they've got there. They're watching those hot spots and they're eventually going to start trying to figure out what started this fire. We will be all over this story for you tonight at 6 and 10.